Well, the day after the deadly attack by Hamas, one former Bergen County man was desperate to help the victims, putting out a call for medical help that exceeded all expectations. His simple message making its way around the world, enlisting thousands of licensed medical volunteers ready to help the wounded and countless people in need. Raven Santana has the story. And so we've been hearing the booms of the missiles and rockets that are being launched at us and the, the Iron Dome system uh, really knocking them down. It's been a very tense couple of weeks for Yigo Marcus. The former Teaneck resident and his family moved to Israel seven years ago. You know, we, um, we live not far from Tel Aviv. So we can see Tel Aviv from our house. Once the bombing started, Marcus says he wanted to do his part to help. He tried to recruit his brothers, who were both doctors in Boca Raton, to volunteer in Israel in the event the country faced a physician shortage. Unbeknownst to him, his wife overheard him on the phone and drafted a WhatsApp message to her friends asking for volunteers. What happened next was beyond what either ever expected. Well, that WhatsApp message went viral globally. Uh, and today, 12 days later, we have 7,000 medical personnel who have signed up for, to volunteer in Israel to come here and serve uh, should the country need it. Marcus says before he knew it, his dining room was transformed into a command center for processing volunteer forms. He says with the help of his kids, their friends, and a newly formed partnership with the Israel's Ministry of Health, they have been able to recruit dozens of authorized medical professionals. We have on any given day between 15 and 20 volunteers who fill my house up. We've assumed the burden of collecting um, credentialing information from physicians, verifying it independently, and then basically giving that to the Ministry of Health here in Israel so they could authorize an emergency license for those physicians. But there is a deep loyalty and love for this country. And what we're seeing is a level of unity uh, and loyalty. That sentiment is being felt thousands of miles away here in Teaneck, where Integrated Healthcare Network, Care One, organized the first charter flight to transport essential supplies and reservists to Israel. Care One CEO and his daughter spearheaded the relief efforts that included more than 600 volunteers. In addition to the passengers, we've sent, um, I, I would say, um, I'm just going to estimate, but um, over 100 pallets of, uh, of, of, of goods, of all, all kinds of uh, medical supplies, and some cases uh, light military uh, needs for the soldiers, um, personal needs, uh, needs for the families, um, and uh, we're just going to continue. We're, we're not stopping. And staff I spoke with say on average they receive about 20 pallets filled with donations like the one behind me on a daily basis. Many, many people that came and dropped off donations were from different faiths, different religions, um, different race, and they all came with a tear in their eye and just asked, what can we do? I know is this bag of diapers going to make a difference? I said, absolutely. Please give it to me and I'll be on a plane tomorrow to Israel. I and my team will point our energy to, con to fight evil with love and goodness. And that's exactly what we're doing. And if you want to help, donations can be dropped off at any of the three Care One locations, including this one here in Teaneck. For NJ Spotlight News, I'm Raven Santana.